my, my education comes first. You need to if you got problem, if, if you, you got problem, you get my education. Bye. Like, you need to tell Haley bye, and you need to come on. Let's go. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not I'm, what's up, bro? What's up, nigga? I said you go. Looking around, looking over the back of his shoulder, looking past me. I'm like, okay, is are we safe? Most women want daddies, not husbands. Let me explain. How come, oh, you'll give it to a whack dude before and then make a good guy wait? I don't think that you're trying to make the good guy wait. But I do. Do you know what's going on? So help me understand. Because I still don't understand. What are you here for a class? Me too, Haley. That's your name, right? Haley. Yeah, my name's Haley. I literally, she literally talked to her and she's here to tutor me. But that's, the point is, this ain't what you said you was doing. Yes, it was. No, it's not. That's not what you said you was doing. That's not what you said you was doing. So don't sit here and lie because it's only gonna make me mad. Anybody trying to lie? I'm getting bro. frustrated. Like, bro, I'm, my, my education comes first. You need to tell if you got Haley problems, bye. if you, you, if you got problems, you get my education. Bye. Like, you need to tell Haley bye, and you need to come on. Let's go. I'm not going. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing nothing with you. So you're not gonna go? No, I'm not doing nothing with you. I'm not doing nothing. Where with you. is this yours? Yeah, this. These are mine. Yeah. I'm not doing nothing with you, bro. I'm not playing. Like, come I'm on, not doing let's go, with you, bro. dude. Stop. Come on. Tell Haley bye. Bye, Hi. Haley. Thank you. Come on, yeah. so you're not going? No. Okay. Bye, dude. I'll go. Bye. A black woman's biggest fear is her man hanging out with a snow bunny. You know why? Them snow bunnies ain't gonna play. How come, oh, you'll give it to a whack dude before and then make a good guy wait? I don't think that you're trying to make the good guy wait. I think that you want him to see the value in you. Sometimes I'm like, all right, if I give it to him too soon, he's going to think, you know, like I'm not a good girl or there's no, like, you know, I'm just a quick, easy F or whatever. And I think that's sometimes what women will do. They'll, they'll, they'll make the guy that they really like wait longer because that's who they really like see potential and i might see a husband in you and just like men like see certain women like oh she's wife material or you know she's just somebody i'm gonna smash i think women are able to do that as well like you know oh you know he, he's got a lot of good qualities he got some good stuff going for himself you know i'm gonna just you know let me see how it goes let me make him wait for it and then mm -hmm. you know hopefully that can you guys can build on the relationship more instead of just the sexual and then it can blossom into something else women don't want to um be confused mm -hmm. by the sex and they actually want to get to know is this a good dude like mm -hmm. should I continue That's down this thing. road because yeah. with some people like the sex can cloud your judgment oh, yeah. um, on, on what a person is or what they could be you know so I, I would think that that may have something to do with it as far as waiting mm -hmm. I think that's a good example too that's real. what about becoming a single mother what about catching an STD what about going through a lot of baggage and then you come across the good guy and you want him to clean up for what everyone else did? No, it doesn't work like that, sweetie. You women are experimenting and you're making it sound like making a man wait to get the kitty cat is something that you really, really like. But you're willing to take all the life changing risk with someone you don't make it make sense. Yo, what the f I said, nigga? What you talking about? What's up, bro? What's up, nigga? I said you go at that, bro. It's a compliment. Yo, what's your fuck out, bro? I'll blow your head off, nigga. I'll blow your head off. Y'all see, you know? see how thick girly is holding all that up? Hey, I gotta give it to her. That thickum is holding it up, but it ain't enough to be out there fighting. And who is the guy on the stilts? Most women want daddies, not husbands. Let me explain. So many women on this app love to preach that men only want mommies. A lot of women on this app will say that they want a man to pay all of their bills. They want them to show up emotionally. They want them to show up 24-7. They want them to give them princess treatment. They want to be treated like gold, essentially like their dad would treat them if they have good fathers. They want the men in their lives to fix all of their shit, be their caretaker. But on top of that, on top of all of the things that men are already responsible for, now these women are crying about domestic labor. So they want the men to also do all of the laundry, do most of the cooking while simultaneously working 60 hours. And most of the time, that's still not good enough. So if he is cooking, cleaning, doing your laundry, providing for you, taking care of your emotional needs, then what the hell are you doing? Probably sitting on social media for six hours a day, not really accomplishing anything. 
like a teenage daughter, hence the daddy-daughter dynamic. And some of these women can get all of that and princess treatment and throw little tantrums when they don't get their way by giving the silent treatment and thus continue the father-daughter dynamic instead of wife and husband. But that's right, that's right. Men are only looking for mommies, not wives. Okay, bye. Get a job and everything will be okay. Yes, that's what my mom and dad would say. Job, 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 job. We want to make a video on how we too smart for that. We too smart for that. Homeless and smart. We too smart for that shit. Y'all getting me crazy. Y'all driving me crazy with that J-O-B stuff. You know my family hit me up and said, I'm a punk. I need to get a job, man. Job, dog. Talking about a job. I'm not getting no job. I've had jobs in the past. And them jobs, I got fired at like 90% of those jobs. It's not for me. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm self-made. So is she. And we're not going to college. We're not doing none of that. Yo, we're not doing that. Unconventional. We're getting money our way. Self-made. What don't y'all get? We're not getting a job. I've had a job. And I got fired from my job to do this. I was working at a job. So y'all can get out of here with that. Y'all can talk about something. Get a job. I had a job. I hate working at jobs. But I worked a job. Because that's what I had to do. Bite the bullet to get ahead. Delusion of grandeur. That's where a person visions themselves as something that they're really not. That's what this man is facing and that's what a lot of people are facing in modern society is that they're starting to believe that there's something that they're not. Okay, little story time. So I did a stream with Carson in like a year and a half ago and realistically, I just wasn't expecting him to look the way he looked in person. Like he just, he just matches my energy, you feel me? And I can just see that a lot of y'all little bitty bitches is doing little teens. So I did the biggest on the president. So if Kyle doesn't accept, this, I'm going to get his face on my face again. So Kai, I'm going to give you about 72 hours to respond back to this. Or I'm going to get your face tatted on my face again. As you can see, I have your baby face tatted on my face. I go all out when I love. And I'm in love like this man, okay? So, if y'all can tag him for me and make it happen, that'd be nice. I have no words for this new generation that's on the way up. They seem to be idolizing their celebrities a little bit too much. Hey, excuse me. I was just sitting here like 30 minutes ago. Did you seem to find something? I like lost it. It was like something important. You, sure, you didn't grab it by any chance? No. No, I'm just joking. I just lost my number and I was wondering if I could have yours. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm married. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your eyes are just Thank mesmerized you. right now. Thank Your name? I'm Kayla. Kayla, nice yes, to meet you. Nice I know you're you. studying whatever, but... Yes, and I also have a boyfriend. You know what they say? Don't let your boyfriend stop you from meeting your future husband. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he lets you have friends, though, or is he like one of those crazy, controlling, no, psychotic he, boyfriends? he's not like that. All right, cool. If I grab your, like, Instagram, that's harmless, no? Sure. Yeah, you have hey, perfect. Too. How's your day? Pretty good. It's good, it's good. It's good. I like the music going on right here. Yeah, he's uh, pretty good. He's actually one of my friends. Yeah, I don't know his name though. I just I know of him. He knows of me. I just don't know his name. They're really good. Oh, you use Aquaphor too? Of course. I love Aqua. Can I actually have some? Sure. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I use it on my lips, and I have a little boo boo right now. So yeah, so it's very good for because it has like collagen. Did you know that? Yes, yeah, it's very it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You use it for everything. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Kayla. Nice to meet you. I love you. All right, bye. Have a good day. You too. If you speak too much, you will lie. If you think too much, you will be depressed. If you cry too much you will lose your sight. If you love too much, you will be cheated. If you care too much, you will be taken for granted. If you trust too much, you will be betrayed. If you work too much, you will die of stress. If you make up too much, you will lose your beauty. If you whoop too much, FYBJ Main gonna say you over whooping. Don't be too much, cause that too much can hurt you so much. Just keep if you speak too much, you will- The older that women get, the more bitter they get, the harder it is for them to get into a relationship, the harder it is for them to be cooperative. Women always have something to say when a man is with somebody who is younger than him, but let a woman come out and be with a man who is super young. People be like, I know that's right, girl. She still got it. They will defend women being out here and being impregnated and being baby mamas. They are the ones who actually stand in the gap and are promoting baby mama culture. It's the women. It's not the men promoting it, it's the women. Yeah, girl, well, you know, have that baby for yourself. But you could do it, you don't need him. People would rather be outraged at a woman who got married young than be outraged at somebody having three, four, five, six, seven baby daddies. That's the stage that we're in right now. It's okay to have baby daddies. 
it's okay to, you know, your body, your choice, and you can sleep around and be with whoever you want to. But if you're married to somebody and we see that it's somebody who belonged to us, aka the sisterhood, all of a sudden everybody gonna jump up on you. The older women is what's stopping the younger women from advancing because the younger women are trying to impress the older women and the older women are bitter. So misery loves company. Get bored with monogamy much sooner than men. Men's desire in long-term relationship goes down gradually. He actually is much more able to remain interested. Women's desire post-marriage Really? Plummets. Wow. And it's always been translated as, well, that's because women care less about sex, rather than it's because women care less about the sex that they can have in their committed relationships, which is often not interesting enough for them. And it often has to do with the fact that the story, the character, the plot is not, in, it's not seductive. The romance, which is an essential ingredient of turn on for the woman, often disappears in the long term relationship. Mm. It's like people look at each other at the end of the day and you want to fool around? You want to do it? You're up for it tonight? Now, this is not very much of a turn on for no. most women. Women get bored with monogamy. This is why, as a man, when you're in a relationship with a woman, make sure there is chemistry. That's the only way that you can keep the sparks going. If you're chasing her and then all of a sudden she just gave in to you and you guys are with each other for insecurity reasons, yes, the relationship's going to die out. Let me tell you how I went on a date in Atlanta and the guy who I went on a date with, his boyfriend showed up at the restaurant while we were on our date so the previous day i'm at the mall i see the guy we like exchange looks so like i know he knows that i think he's attractive i know he think i'm attractive because we're looking at each other we've passed each other multiple times in the mall and we're looking so probably like the third time we've passed each other he's like excuse me i think you're very beautiful i would like to take you on a date i'm like okay cool we can exchange information get to know each other and then we could put something in motion so cool we talking the whole day Everything's going good. He seems down to earth. He seems cool. We have a lot in common. Woo -woo -woo. Right. So he's like, okay, let's do something for tomorrow afternoon. I'm like, okay, that's fine with me. He's like, you want me to pick you up? I'm like, well, you know, this is our first time meeting. I don't really feel comfortable with you picking me up from my home, even though, you know, I, I think you're a pretty cool guy. He's like, okay, cool, no problem. I'll send you a black truck. Boom. So that's the backstory of how we met. Fast forward to the day of the day right so we go to the restaurant it's a very nice nice establishment the vibes are nice he comes with flowers the conversation is good the energy is good and then he picks up his phone and the energy just like shifts out of nowhere so i'm like okay so he's like i gotta go to the restroom i gotta go to the restroom so i'm like okay go ahead go to the restroom so while he's in the restroom i ordered me a few more drinks i'm noticing I'm like okay he's in there for a, a little too long Okay, so he comes out. When he sits back at the table, he's like fidgety as hell. Like he's moving, looking around, looking over the back of his shoulder, looking past me. I'm like, okay, is are we safe? Is everything okay? Are we good? So I'm like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Let's get a few more drinks so I can loosen up. I'm like, loosen up. I mean, we've been drinking. You was loose, so... Anyway, so then I noticed this group of men walk in, right? He peeps it too. Girl, when I tell you, he adjusted his body as to not be seen. So I'm like, okay, maybe these, these are the ops. Maybe he's in danger, like something's going on. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to eat my food, mind my business, or whatever. Cool. We're at a table where, like, the bar is across from us so i can hear conversations at the bar i can see people right so the group of guys sit there one of the guys is like yeah my man out with some bitch oh so i'm one ear to him one ear to him because like i want the tea what so he like yeah he don't even know i got his location so i'm look back at the person i'm on a date with he's like <laughs> this making sure i'm like what's going on what's going on so he's like I have to go to the restroom again. I'm like, okay. Okay. I mean, this is the second time. Are you finna leave? Do I need to, <laughs> do I need to pay? What's going on? <laughs> so when he goes to the restroom again, the man gets up and goes to the restroom as well. But as the man walks past me, he's like, oh, sis, you're beautiful. I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, cause when, a, when, okay. So I'm like, thanks. But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, 
okay, they both going to the bathroom. But I'm not even putting that together because at this point, I'm tipsy. Right. So something must have transpired in that restroom. Because next, I hear the person at the bar pick up the phone. And he like, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. And the group run to the bathroom. Security run to the bathroom. So I'm sitting here like, what's going on? Mr. My Day and Mr. You look good, sis. Come out the bathroom tussling. You in here with this bitch and you had me at home thinking that you... At home? <laughs> thinking? So he's like, you had me at home thinking and you know I got your location and how sneaky could you be and you not even gonna let her know that you got a man. You got what? You got what? So mind you, I didn't drive here. So I'm having to like get on my phone, give me a new ride because I didn't drive. I'm... He done left me with the tab. Cool. I want to get up the hell on up out of here. So I, I pay the tab. I'm like, I'm not sitting in this restaurant waiting. I walk out. Oh, when I tell you they on the street going at it, he my the, the person I went on a date with, baby, you know oh, <laughs> what is going on? I don't even know. So then I'm running out of time, but moral of this story, ladies. Your only option is going to be low-hanging, confused LGB men. You done transitioned a lot of these guys and they don't know how to handle it because they're caught between two emotions.